Cloud and Nike have revisited their silken uppers for the Air Force One. Let's take a closer look at this new blue colorway. What's going on guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at the third iteration of the Clot Air Force One Low. But before we show you all the close-ups and the details, just do us a quick favor, please hit that subscribe button and we'll get right into it. So as we mentioned, this is the third overall version of this Air Force One Low with this silken upper with traditional uh, patterns. First one came in 09, then again in 2018, and now this third one in 2019. Let's just go over the basics. These first originally released on October 18th exclusively at Clot. They're dropping again on November 1st in China and Taiwan, and then a US release will be on November 11th. So they're going with a staggered drop, so you will have more opportunities to buy these, but still, these are fairly limited, and given the resale prices on the original two, you do not want to sleep on these. So just a quick note on Clot, they've been around since 2003 and they're based in China. They're no stranger to Nike collaborations, they've done so many projects with the Swoosh. Air Force One fans will say that their 2009 One World collaboration was their best ever, but Air Max fans will argue otherwise. You know, their 2006 Kiss of Death was pretty dope, it had that clear toe box, dope packaging, dope insoles. It's really a matter of preference. Regardless, you know, Claude has done some amazing projects with Nike. Now this pattern first came about in 2009 with the One World collection. Basically, Nike wanted to take the Air Force One global and really connect with the right partners. You know, Clot was one of them. There was a Rashid Wallace version, there was a Busy P edition, Quest Love. Basically, that was a huge treat for Air Force One fans and pretty much all those pairs resell for a lot of money. They're a great collector's item. Arguably from that One World set, Klotz was the best. You know, they had that red upper that burned away that revealed a gold layer beneath. There was a Hyper Strike uh, Chinese candy box edition that was uh, only given out to friends and family and those fetch insane prices today. But Klot definitely deserves a lot of credit for creating one of the best collaborations of all time. And Klot didn't necessarily come up with the idea to burn away an upper layer to reveal a layer beneath. You know, there's a Jeff McFetridge Vandals and they definitely added a bit of like that premium flair and again in 2018 they revisited that concept with an all-white version now as mentioned this is the third overall time now in royal blue nothing really new in terms of what you've seen before but again the blue really pops if you see the silicon upper you can definitely see the two-tone sort of texture because the actual pattern is embroidered on top of the uh, satin sort of silk material and the material does wrap around the entire shoe with the exception of the swoosh with his leather. The tongue is also a nice flat leather and you can see on the tongue label it has that same silken upper. The inside liner is a perforated leather and as you can see, you can see the special custom insoles that has the Clot Medallion logo. So overall, you know, this is uh, an execution that we've seen before twice already, but it's just a matter of color preference. This blue one's really nice and as we mentioned earlier, you can burn away the upper to reveal a gray layer beneath. These obviously are intact and we're not gonna burn them away, but if you wanna see how they look, just check Edison Chen's Instagram. He posted a photo of what they do look like. The outsole, they kept it nice and simple. You got classic white and a gum outsole, which has never ever looked bad in an Air Force One. It just looks really nice against this blue colorway. There's a special box here that has that same clot medallion sort of traditional print that's all over the shoe box. It's on a classic black Nike sportswear box, so they're kind of merging the standard sportswear box for their premium releases with that material. And on the inside, Clot has always done an excellent job with detailing, and even the tissue paper is a custom one as well. You're not gonna find the standard one. If you cop their Clot Air Max Hits 97 Haven release, you saw that they did special tissue as well. So again, nice little touch. And um, you know, that's pretty much it. This is the Clot Air Force One Low. This is the third version that they've done with the Burnway Upper. Again, the shoes dropped already in October 18th at Clot, dropping November 1st in China and Taiwan, and then November 11th in the US. So check the links below. We'll have uh, updated store lists and all that. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.